Welcome back to Craft Stick Crafts. I'm Brad Griffith. So uh, this week's project, what I wanted to show you, was not necessarily about a specific building project. Many of you have probably seen the Space Needle that I've made. But this week's project was getting ready for the Washington State Science Teachers Conference. I was there and uh, not showing you the pictures in the background, I was showing you this bridge which also doubles as a wine rack. But I was at the conference, I taught a class all about craft stick bending and how it relates to STEM which is science, technology, engineering and math and sometimes we'd like to throw in an A in there for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And that is because uh, what we're doing here is not only engineering, but it is also an art. So there is uh, people across the country who are uh, promoting throwing an A in STEM to make STEAM. So at this teacher's science conference, uh, I showed them not only craft stick bending, but this is a modern day siege machine that we converted from a remote control car and craft sticks. You can now drive up to the castle wall under cover. And when you get there, there's supposedly some ropes right here. When you get there, you pull down the ladder and then you can scale up the wall. So that was a kind of a big hit, plus once we, especially once we uh, plugged it into some batteries. This is a bridge building jig. So what we do here is we uh, determine what shape we want. We draw it out on the board. We glue, we glue pegs at each spot where it's critical so that the piece can be glued in there the same way time and time and time again. The plastic is so that the uh, glue, when you glue up your popsicle sticks to make this shape, that the glue that you use to do the popsicle sticks doesn't glue to the jig. Uh, that would be a problem. Also, tin foil works, but it isn't as good. A lot of the teachers like the jig idea for their kids that build bridges. This is uh, on some of our other videos. You may have seen this. This is a remote control car, the rear end, and we converted it to a table saw by using a little bit of creativity and ingenuity which all is, is about STEM, science, technology, and engineering, and math. So we've got some bridges here that we've worked on. So uh, we use a lot more than just popsicle sticks on our bridges. Here's uh, some yard sticks. The yard sticks can be found at uh, mostly your like a mom and pop lumber yards. The small lumber yards, hardware stores still have uh, yard sticks. Here's a, an arched, a little bit of an arched bridge, and we don't deck. Put a deck on this one because uh, then you wouldn't be able to see the right angle bends. So uh, the teachers there were real kind of fascinated by my square knot, which is uh, just obviously yardsticks. We soak them in the tub five nights, five days, you know, until they're good and soggy and then we can pretty much mold them the way we want them. Uh, you may have seen earlier, this is my little DVD holder. 
and our first DVD craft stick tips and tricks basics uh, a lot of them like the technology that I was providing with the QR code uh, a lot of people are having that app on their phone. I don't know if you can shoot that. But if not, just go to my web uh, website and or YouTube channel, Craft Stick Bending, and you can get the video. This is a bridge under construction and or a wine rack and or a towel rack. So what I'm trying to peel away is uh, getting after this one here. This is uh, another series that we'll provide on some of our sites. This is a uh, miniature rebar and concrete bridge that uh, will show how to make miniature rebar from stuff around the house and make a form and how to pour it. This will give kids a real um, perspective on uh, what's behind and inside a bridge besides just being able to make it with popsicle sticks let's show them how to really put rebar and concrete together so this was uh, just a big combination of a lot of bridge showing at this uh, science teachers conference uh, Washington State Science Teachers Convention and uh, the Space Needle was also a big hit. So that's kind of our project. That's what we've been working on. I uh, appreciate your comments and uh, liking us and su subscribing. Keep an eye on us because there's always something going on around the next corner. Here is uh, a pump we made. Some of that's online already. Uh, this is just a tube. A lot going on. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.